microphone, but uh, it is officially six o'clock, but we... <laughs> Can you we scream? <laughs> I can't hear you. Sorry. The microphone is, is always a trouble on this, but um, it's six o'clock. There are 11 people on this Zoom meeting, apparently, although I can only see some of you. And uh, so I guess we'll get started. Go for Meeting it. Call to order. Um, we'll skip the Pledge of Allegiance because I don't have a flag in here. Um, has everyone had a chance to review the minutes? Yes. Does anyone have any questions, comments, concerns regarding the minutes? Mm -hmm. I had There's a, a few I had typos. A few, <laughs> yes. There's a few typos. What are they? It's Martha Smith, not Martha White. Oh, Schlesinger wow. is spelled wrong. Paget is spelled wrong. Um, also not on the list is is the auditor, and I, I think she probably should be. I don't know her name though. And she technically was present at that meeting. I move the minutes as corrected. Can I get a second? A second. Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? All right. The minutes are approved. Treasurer's report. We've got the treasurer's report. Are there any questions? There what, Jack? There are no questions, and I would move it. Are there any questions? Can I get a second, then? I'll second. Okay, Martha has, okay, <laughs> Jessica has, whoever claimed that first. All in favor? Uh, aye. 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 Okay, the financial report is approved as, ex as accepted as presented. Um, report of unpaid bills. Did everyone get a chance to see the new updated unpaid bills from later late this afternoon? No. I'm looking. Yes. Does any, uh, did anyone not get a chance to see that? Does anyone have any questions about those bills? Um, can I get someone to move them in that case? Or, or is everyone still checking out the bills? <laughs> I can move them if everybody's if everybody's good looking through them. Okay, can I get a second? Second. All right, thank you, Pat. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? <laughs> All righty, the bills have been approved in the amount stated, which is $39,991.26. I move that we have Ron sign the checks since none of us are currently present. Move it. I second it. All right. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? All right. Thank you. The Ron will sign the bills. All right, uh, is there any correspondence? We got a check in the mail for $100. It's from the Fidelity Charitable Donor Advised Fund. 
It was made at the recommendation of the Turn to the Wonderful Fund. Uh, th there's a part of the paragraph I'd like to read. Even though we have never been to your library, we are happy to join as a member. You are doing such important patriotic work. America needs an educated populace and it is too easy to be fed things other than the truth. What are your greatest needs? What work are you proud of? We are trying to join hundreds of libraries in the USA. You can use our story to raise funds. And there is no, other than using it for charitable purposes, we can put it wherever we feel needed. Wow. I just thought that was kind of neat to get in the mail. What, yeah. what, is, what was the name of the organization one more time? It's Turn to the Wonderful. Okay, well, that's really awesome of them. Thank you, Turn to the Wonderful People. Uh, anything else? Nope. That's it. Okay, um, on to the me report as president. <laughs> um, so we're going to be talking about this in further detail during the executive session because we're not supposed to talk about contract negotiations in the non-executive session, but contract negotiations are ongoing and we will be discussing them further in however many minutes it takes us to get there. Other than that, I don't really have anything to report. Okay. Uh, at the department head meeting earlier this week, we talked about masks. Uh, after some discussion, uh, we've decided to continue current mask requirements, but we will be discontinuing the questionnaires and temper temperature checks starting Monday the 21st. Um, we're still looking at the goal of starting in-person program for September, again, continuing to assess. And it was brought up if staff would be mandated to get the vaccine. Uh, we had two union officers present and I posed the question to them and they said they're going to look into it before making any recommendations as to whether folks should get uh, vaccinated. Have, has there, uh, do you have any stats on the number of people who are currently vaccinated? No. Okay. Um, if, do you have we, any plans? Go ahead. Sorry. Did you have any plans for when we can start welcoming back volunteers? We're going to start volunteers July 1st. Oh, okay. Good to know. Yeah, they're, they're starting to put the word out. We've had a couple already at West Elmira, but uh, the other branches will be picking up on July 1st. Excellent, because I know several people who used to volunteer and have been, you know, sad that they can't anymore. Yeah, yeah, so hopefully they'll, they'll come back in droves. Um, our virtual programs are still going strong. Uh, several patrons have asked about when the in-person programs will resume. resume. We're looking into possibly doing a hybrid model where people could participate from home as well as show up at the branch. Um, bear with me. We're going to have a couple programs coming up this summer that focus on African American genealogy. You can check the website. Uh, there's one for beginning African American genealogy, which is 48 people registered. Wow. Oh, I, wow. I think that's pretty good. Very yeah. good. Yeah. Uh, what kind of resources do we have for that uh, within our library, we, other than like local is, genealogy and newspaper clippings? That's pretty much what we have. Ah, okay. But I think Maggie's Maggie's coordinated with this lady to do the program, and I'll, I'll have to ask her to give me a better rundown of what we have, so I can I can get that to you. I think that would certainly be useful in my professional life because I always get, you know, questions about where we can, where people can go once they leave my office. Yeah. Um, 
We're going to start putting the tables and chairs back out July 1st. And uh, summer reading is all planned. Most of the libraries are doing make and takes each week all summer. You can check our calendar for who's doing what. I know, for example, Big Flats is going to do a weekly gift card giveaway. It's going to be either Dunkin', Starbucks, Barnes & Noble, you know, some local place. They're doing a make, take and make kit for July. It's a three herb starter kit. Uh, teams that sign up for Summer Reading Club can enter the drawing for a $10 gift card. And that's Big Flats. Yeah, like I said, the best thing to do is check the website because I've got a laundry list of things that they're doing. Yeah, it looks like everybody's doing make and takes. We had the Central Library Committee meeting today. Got a lot of good input from other, other libraries. They asked what current services do they benefit most. M the majority of people said the uh, downloadable materials. Um, they were asking if services they could benefit from that we aren't presently offering. Wasn't much brought up about that. They would like to allocate at least 50% of all central library funds towards digital downloads. And Does that mean wow. we'll get Freegal back? Freegal had terrible numbers. For each uh -huh. unique user with Freegal, it costs $64. Databases are like a $2 or $20, but $64, it was voted out uh, by the Central Library Committee. I would love to get Freakle back because I liked it. Man, that was great. I got so many albums. Like half of my music is Freakle music. <laughs> yeah, and they had some nice playlists, which was really enjoyable. Um, they're still working with the marketing committee. They're mm -hmm. breaking up different guidelines for like social media, print media, our event calendar, outreach. They're talking about brand identity, logo, font, programming, photo guidelines, uh, in-house publicity for digital signs and program sign placement, newsletters, uh, press releases, and they want to have staff training at our continuing education day. Good. On all the recommendations by July 30th from the committee, they will be consolidated and compiled into one document by August 31st. And we have another meeting on September 16th to discuss each section. Next thing I had is the personnel actions, but I do have to amend. Sean Lehman, who is currently a part-time clerk at Design, he's got a full-time position at Howell Manufacturing. Uh, we appointed Amy Costin to the library clerk full-time position. I think we did that last month. We're gonna, we want to promote Will Camus, to part-time clerk to replace Sean. And we're hiring a new page next week. Her name is Ashley Klein. Those are the fill, fill vacancies. Okay. Um, sorry, my cat's walking on me. Uh, <laughs> Can I get someone to, to move the um, the personnel. personnel actions as amended? I will move the personnel actions as amended. Thank you, Kevin. Any uh, second? A second. Uh, Phyllis has oh, her hand second. up. Um, all in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? All right, that has been approved. Okay. That's all I have till we get to buildings and grounds. Did you need us to approve anything in terms of the marketing plan or was that just, hey, be aware that this is happening? It was more be aware of this is happening. I would like to have the full, what we're trying to do is take all the guidelines we have in different documents on our intranet and put mm -hmm. one cohesive document. And that's our goal by the end of August. 
So oh, okay. once, hopefully once that is done, then we can send it out and you guys can approve it. Okay. Alrighty. Thank you. All right. So on to the committee reports, the executive committee. Um, so executive committee, you all have the minutes from that. Um, we approved the unpaid bills. Um, we approved the wireless policy or the new wireless policy and we approved the Eagle Scout project. Does anyone have any questions about any of that? Okay, on to the uh, budget and finance committee, Jack. At our report, as normal, it's short. Any questions? If not, we're good. Okay. Are there any questions? All right. I guess we're moving on to buildings and grounds. Carl has a work thing, so he is not here. Um, Ron, would you mind sure. reporting? Yeah, we talked a little bit about the uh, parking lot. And I had sent you a copy of Bob Butcher's letter with the list of bids we received for the project. Mm -hmm. He says, we reviewed Wenzel, Wenzel Landscaping's quote and find they are the lowest responsible bidder. He recommends awarding the work to Wenzel. So if you guys are okay with that, then you'd need to approve the project bid going to Wenzel. So to clarify, despite the name, they are also, they, they actually can pave our drive. Yes. Our yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, can I get a motion? Or do we have any questions? Move it. Okay. Can I I'll get second. A I'll second. All right. Thank you. All in favor? Aye. Uh, all right, uh, we're gonna go with the Wenzel Landscaping, despite the name. <laughs> okay. Is there anything to report from the Personnel Committee? <clears throat> Sorry, I was on mute. Uh, no, we're good. We're good, all right. Anything to report from the Election and Continuity Committee? Um, no, we didn't. Our next meeting is the 23rd at 5.30 at the library. Anybody is welcome to come. And I don't see Anne here tonight. Is Anne's not here, so I can't Anne ask her. In, the last Anne time I talked to her, or she said she was trying, uh, contacting someone, and she would let me know. I haven't heard yet. Could you, uh, Anne is on vacation out west touring national parks with her granddaughter. Uh, I don't nice. believe she's I don't believe she's going to be back for a couple of weeks. She said she couldn't get to the meeting on the 23rd. So, okay. No, I don't think she will be back until 4th of July after the 4th of July. Okay. Um I'm I do have the second district uh, voter uh, list. And if anybody would like to see that to see if they can have someone. Okay, Penny, I'll send it to you. Anybody else want it to look and see if they um, have somebody in the big flats area that they think would be a good member of our group? Let me know and I'll send you the list. Okay. Um, when you when we when we have the meeting um, on the twenty third, do you mind bringing um, uh, pe voter petitions for oh. folks who want to take those and, and get get ballot signatures? Sure, I'll bring one with me, or I can send it too if anybody wants it sent. I, I have something else. I got an email from 
Betsy Gorman to the Big Flats Library Advocates, that um, Cindy Emmer, who is one of our STLS board members representing Chemung County, apparently Cindy is moving out of the area. I'm not sure when. Um, going back but home to we are, Pardon? <laughs> We're both from Poughkeepsie and I saw her at Chamberlain's Garden Saturday and she said she's moving back home to Poughkeepsie. Did she say when? She didn't, she said soon. Okay, well, be that as it may, I don't know whether she was up for re-election or not, but we have to find somebody to be on the STLS board. So if you know anybody who would like to be on that board, um, let us know. So what does that what what does that entail? Just so I can, you know, shop around to people. I don't know how often they meet. I don't really know the details of being on the STLS board. Right now, Betsy is Cindy, I believe Denise King and Cece, whose C. C. name Burr. I can't remember. Burr. Pardon? Cece Burr. Is that what it is? I think so. I can't remember. I think those are our four Chemung County reps. Um, but I don't really know what all the details are. I mean, I know that they have monthly, I'm assuming monthly, I, I don't know. Um, okay. well, so uh, like, Ron, I will we'll send I Betsy an out. email and I, I'll send Betsy an email and ask her, you know, to give us a rundown on, you know, what exactly it involves. Yeah. They have to be just for we appoint or can they be, does it, it ha from Shimon County or do they have to be a specific area or anything well, like that? Anywhere from Shimon County. They meet, yeah. they meet monthly, they have different committees. The one thing that they have concerns with is they rotate through all the counties. So you're Ooh. being as far out as Allegheny. Oh. Just so you're aware. Are they meeting in person or on Zoom? Uh, you know what? I don't know, Pat. But I mean, that's not going to go on forever that they meet on Zoom, so. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's right, Pat. You've done it again. Brought up something that we didn't think about. Well, I only got the email from Betsy, I think, two days ago. Well, and she's she has her own issues. She's her husband has Gillian Barre, oh. and he's home in a wheelchair and a ramp and uh, doing occupational therapy and physical therapy and all that. Last year he hiked the first half of the Appalachian Trail. This year, just prior to doing the second half of the Appalachian Trail, he was diagnosed with Gillian Barre and spent six weeks maybe in hospital in Syracuse. So now he's home, yeah. but crazy. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, anything else from the election and continuity? Oh, that's it. Okay, anything from the, ex um, the advocacy, advocacy committee that doesn't technically exist? Awesome. Um, do we want to do the old business and new business first and then go into executive session just so that we can, we don't have to pause the recording, we can just go straight into executive. Does anyone have any new and or old business? I just want to say we're talking about marketing. I was glad to see the bookmobile in the Memorial Day Parade. Yeah. Uh, they put 34 pictures up from the parade on the website, not one of the bookmobile. Oh, well, I took a picture of the bookmobile going past my house. I'll send it to everybody. <laughs> okay. Anything else? 
Any public wanting to express? All righty. Um, I move we go into an executive session. Can I get a second? Okay, I see Penny's hand up first, so Penny seconds. Is there anything else that we would like to discuss or do we want to vote on adjourning? I just have one question and um, we had the drag queen um, story time at Park Church. How did it go? They had about 70 people attend. Wow. They had, uh, I think 52 were registered and 70 people showed up. Wow. Very little negative feedback. I only received one email. Great. Right. Right. Yeah, so Good it turned out well. Good. Good. Hey. Well, I'm glad that that came out well. I, I, I have to. I have to comment. I, I believe I said at one of the meetings that there was a drag queen story time that CMOG was sponsoring as part of their opening exhibit and it was online. So I watched it and it was a very interesting person who was reading the book, the lady with the ship on her head. And then they had a craft session where you could make your own wig out of toilet paper tubes and cotton batten and all of that. I wanted to see how they did that. It was really very funny, but I have to laugh, but because I registered to watch this, I subsequently got an email inviting me to a program where I could uh, basically learn how to be a drag king or queen or whatever. <laughs> it was sponsored someplace in, I think Middlesex County. I, I forget where it was, someplace else in New York. And I thought, Oh, Lord, how did I get myself on this list? <laughs> We're oh, watching, anyway. Pat. What? We are watching, Pat. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing how if you register for something, what happens? <laughs> right. Yeah. Hey, so what did they read at the story hour at, Par at Park Church? I don't remember the name of the book. Okay. Yeah. All righty. Um, if there's nothing else to discuss, I move that we adjourn for the evening. I second it. All in favor? <laughs> Aye. 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 All right, we have weekend. adjourned. I'd say go Bye, home, but most of us are already there. So you guys have a great <laughs> night. Thanks for coming. All right, take care. Thank you. Have a good weekend.